So lately I've been getting quite a few questions about how to help struggling students. Now these are the students that we see as behind or not getting it. I'm Christina Tonneval, the Recovering Traditionalist, and I hope you will stick around as we take a look at how to help students struggling with mathematics using the five whys, and we're gonna apply it to education in our quest to build our math minds so we can build the math minds of our students. Now, this video is gonna be kind of short and sweet because there is one answer and I want you to get to work on it and not be sitting here watching this video the whole time. Now, the way that we help our struggling students is really drilling down to the root of the issue. And I wanna encourage you to use the five whys strategy. And that's not whys, but W-H-Y-S. So you can Google that, but the five whys is really about we think about a problem and we think we have the answer when we ask that first question of why, but really it takes five whys to get to the root of the issue. Below this video, I'm gonna link to a YouTube video that talks about the five whys in relation to the Titanic. So you can go and watch the full thing, but here's the general gist. Like if you just ask why did the Titanic sink, you would get the answer of it hit an iceberg. But why did it hit an iceberg? And then whatever that next answer is, ask why again and ask why again. And typically it takes five whys to get to the root of the issue. Now in that video, you'll also see about how he talks about how you can get to different root issues depending upon your perspective. Now my perspective when it comes to education is that pretty much I can make a case of whatever the problem is and we keep asking whys, we can eventually get to the root issue being something around a student's number sense and the relationships that they've built around numbers. So here's an example that I wanna share with you about you know, that common problem of when we say kids just aren't using strategies, whether that's for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, we hear it a lot. Kids just aren't using these strategies. Well, why? Why aren't they using the strategies? So the, after asking the first why, one of the things that might come up is that they are relying on counting on their fingers or they're relying on inefficient strategies, whatever that might be. Maybe they're still drawing blocks, the tens, the base 10 pieces. So whatever that why is, they're using some inefficient strategies. Well, why are they using inefficient strategies? Well, because the textbook teaches these strategies quickly and the kids aren't getting them. Why aren't they getting them? Well, because it's too many strategies and the kids are getting all confused. Why is that? Well, the kids aren't seeing connections between these strategies. Well, why aren't they seeing those connections? Well, it's because the textbook focuses on just operating with these numbers, like teaching it as rules and procedures, and does not help build relationships with numbers. And that's at the root of all of those strategies that we're trying to teach our students, is these relationships. So you can take any problem, you start at the beginning and ask why, and then why, and then why. Now you gotta be careful because some of your answers to these whys might be things that are not in your control. Like we hear a lot about, well, because parents aren't doing this, this, or this. You cannot answer a why with something that is out of your control. I want you to focus on your answers to the whys being something that you can actually make a change with, that you have some authority, some power to do something different and rectify the situation. Okay? And there is always something there that you can do to help out. So the second piece of advice here is go find your answer to whatever the problem is using the five whys. Once you have found your answer, whatever that root issue is, I want you to go research that root issue. Dig down deep to find that root issue and then go explore and learn more about how to help kids build that whatever it is. In my area, 
tends to always be a root issue of number sense. Like I can trace everything back to number sense. So if you want some help with building your students' number sense, I'm gonna direct you back to some of my old videos. I've got one that's for pre-K to two and one that's for third through five so that you can get a little bit more info about how to build that number sense and build those relationships for your students. So I hope that this five why activity has helped you build your math mind so that you can go build the math minds of your struggling students. Have a great day.